What's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an audio podcast segment, a little rant on whether or not Marab should fight Aljamain Sterling for the bantamweight belt. Dana White recently commented on it. I read his quote. It was kind of ominous. Didn't sound good for Marab, but let's get into it. All right, since I brought up Dana, first let's start with that. Historically, Dana White has not liked the concept of teammates refusing to fight each other. And in a roundabout way, guys that fall in that category that Dana doesn't like wind up getting unfavorable fights, seem to like get a difficult route going forward. Now, I'm not going to flat out say that there's some vindictiveness going on there. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that you're on some blacklist. No. No, 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 no way. That doesn't happen, right? But Dana doesn't like it. So Dana White said that um, if Marab chooses not to fight Aljamain Sterling, it's not going to end well for him. Uh, That doesn't sound good. Now, I do agree with Dana that he will get passed up by guys ranked underneath him that will contend for the belt. So... Feelings aside, if you're just thinking about your career and the end goal and money, yeah, it's not a good idea to um, refuse to fight a teammate who is the current champion in your weight class. But there's another layer to this. Not everything is about money, status, material things, or career. Friendship, loyalty, brotherhood trumps everything for some. Now, it sounds like Aljamain Sterling, Matt Serra, Ray Longo, that whole group. It sounds like they did a lot for Marab's career. And who knows what else they did for him and his family. It sure seems like he owes a lot to them. He seems extremely grateful. He considers them brothers and family. Now, everybody's different. Aljamain Sterling, I'm sure, loves Marab. But Aljo might be willing to fight against his brother for the prestigious belt. Marab doesn't seem comfortable with that. It doesn't mean that Aljo loves him any less. It's just that people are different. Aljamain Sterling may be rationalizing it in his head where he cares about and loves Marab so much that he doesn't want to cut his dreams short, doesn't want to hinder him or halt him, even if he's in the way. That's one way to look at it. And Marab doesn't want to fight against Aljo because he just doesn't want to. That's a brother to him. You don't want to punch somebody you love in the face or hurt them or take what they have. Some people are just extremely loyal like that. They will sacrifice themselves. They'll sacrifice their dreams for the people they care about or the people that they feel like they owe something to. Can these guys shake hands, compete, may the best man win and still be friends and brothers after? Of course. Could it possibly cause a rift? Yes, as well. That's why they say never mix family with business or friends with business because things could get screwed up. People start feeling a type of way. Things could get really complicated. So do I think Marab should fight Aljamain Sterling for the belt? Put the brotherhood, the friendship aside? I mean, if it was me, I don't think I would do it. But that's just me. I'm not saying that I would be correct. Maybe I would be wrong and stupid. But I'm kind of like a Marab person. If somebody treats me like a brother and is there for me and has been there for me, has done things for me, got my back, I'd be willing to sacrifice my dreams and the ultimate end goal not to take away theirs. But that's just me. Not everybody thinks that way. Some people are more logical. Some people are more calculating colder. I heard Aljo saying, call for the belt, call for the belt in Marab's post-fight interview. And I think that's coming from a place of care. I think Aljo feels bad. He doesn't want Marab to be like in a limbo. Do I think they're going to fight? No, I don't think they're going to fight. I don't think um, Dana White's pressure is going to work. What I think is going to happen is I think Aljo is possibly going to move up to 145. Definitely if he beats Cejudo. Heck, even if he loses to Cejudo, that may be motivation as well. You lose the belt. You've been there, done that. Here goes another challenge to get you out of bed in the morning. The thought of competing at 145, a new dangerous challenge, may spark a fire in Aljo. 
he's certainly big enough. So yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. I respect Marab's decision. I get where he's coming from. I could understand the angle of um, competing for the belt regardless. I don't think there's like a right or wrong. It's just choices, personal choices. I think if Marab gets skipped a little bit, that's understandable. But I don't think there should be some kind of a vendetta or Marab being penalized or shafted in the future because he didn't take the fight. And I've seen it happen to other fighters. It would be a damn shame if that happens. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this whole situation? Do you think Marab should put brotherhood and friendship aside, compete for the belt? Do you think they should make an agreement? Or do you think friendship, brotherhood, loyalty trumps fighting for the title? Thanks for watching the segment, guys. Eager to read your comments. Truly appreciate the support. The channel slowly growing. Can't wait to see where it goes. As they say, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next one. Later.